Okay, in this tutorial, we're just going to run through how to set up or install Serperscope um, on a VPS. So I'm going to be using DigitalOcean for this. Um, you can use a Raspberry Pi or another computer on your home if you wish. Um, it's pretty much the same. If you don't have DigitalOcean, you can get an account just by clicking um, the link I have showing over here. Um, and you can get a ten dollar credit to get started and play around with everything as well. So, what we what this does is basically allows you to. It's an open source SEO rank tracking. Um, there's a lot of paid ones out there, um, but there's not many free open source uh, things available. So this is pretty cool. So getting into it, we're going to create a droplet. We're just going to use Ubuntu. And we'll just choose the cheap uh, one. Choose a location that's closest to you, where you are. I'll add up my SSH key. I don't need to rename my host name because it's just going to be a temporary one. Okay, so the service uh, finished setting it up, setting itself up. So we can SSH uh, into the server. I've got my SSH keys configured, so I won't be doing it the long way. Um, just a few notes here, I won't be running through how to secure your server or anything like that. So ideally you want to have your secure, hardened, um, you know, secure every, any, all the recommended ways. Um, but this will just show you once you've done that, how to go from there and get uh, Serperscope on your droplet on your VPS. Okay, so if you scroll down, you'll see... Um, some documentation you can get to so the docs up the top here and here's the download places so here's the documentation for Ubuntu and Debian um, so basically we're root already so we don't need to use the sudo command so let's just get straight into it and just basically copy paste all these into there which is pretty easy uh, update and we'll install the Java get a should get a pop-up like this coming through and just click OK and yes and then it will continue installing now the dependencies have been installed we can download um, the the program so if you just right click and we just go copy link address and we can just gonna go wget um, inside quotation marks the link and that will download the file and if you come back here we can use um, this command so before you can't just use that because it will have the version number in it as well so it won't work so depending on what version number you download so you can check that by just typing ls and you can do that. So dpkg-i and then you can just copy paste that across and that will install it. Now that's installed, you can um, basically start the service. Just copy paste that. Start. Now that should be accessible by going to the droplets IP address and then um, the port that it runs on. So 7134 is the default port. Then you should see here the login screen. Okay, if we want to take it one step further and secure, make it make it a bit more secure rather than not using 7134 for the port. Let's say we just want to access it on port 80 or port 443 using uh, Nginx. So right now we don't have Nginx installed. So we can do that by apt-get install Nginx. Yep. Okay, so if we, I'll just get rid of the root directory. And remove 
the de the, that's the default index file that Nginx puts in there. Probably can't hurt just to type in the IP address before you delete it and make sure Nginx is working, but it should be working, so that's fine. So now we can, um, if we just nano into our server block, the Nginx site's available, and you can copy paste the default one if you want, like everyone recommends to, but I'm just going to quickly go through it. So I'll just use the default one. Um, so we'll just hash this one out here and then we'll just do a proxy path and seven one, what was it? Um, seven one three four forward slash and semicolon to finish it off. That's gonna proxy um, this across to Nginx. Um, so if you just click uh, get out of it and save, and uh, service Nginx restart. If you get an error, just run um, Nginx dash T and you should figure out what the problem is. You can always do a capital T and it'll give you a bit more information. Um, now that should be working, so without the port, if you get rid of the port and that does work. Uh, so if you use a firewall like UFW or IP tables, you can now make sure that they, all those other ports are blocked and so you can only access it by this um, here. Also, you could actually um, change in here and change it to your port from 80 to something different to port 80 and 443. So it's, you know, bots and stuff can't crawl in here. Um, also, another thing is to put some more security on it, maybe add in um, Nginx basic authentication. Um, that way you'll get a pop-up coming here for a password and stuff. That's at the server level, so that's probably the best level to have it at. Um, and then you'll have another login screen for the application as well. Um, and if you want to go even further than that, you can add fail to ban in. So if you say you set it to three failed attempts on your Nginx authentication, it can ban that IP address for a prolonged amount of time or indefinite if you choose. So that's one of the best ways of um, hardening your service, particularly for an application like this. Um, I might run through going, going through that a bit further in another tutorial. Um, but I hope you enjoy. You can log in and um, you have your documentation here going through how to set everything up from there, a quick start guide. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching.